In a previous episode, we were just celebrating the arrival of Ben Krasno delivering his famed EL display for our Dusky. But our HDC had stopped working for some reason. While Carl and Mike were looking at it, I was entertaining Ben with my collection and had him punch a card. That's when Mike and Carl just reported they found the cause of the problem. So, not good? Yeah, we lost you to excavate more. We lost another diode in the current switch module. Oh, freaking God. <laughs> I was uh, goofing around with Ben in, in the collection. We were just about to hook up his uh, electroluminescent display. Mm-hmm. We turned the computer on and something real bad happened. Yep. So, <laughs> we have our switch modules bad again. Current switch module, we lost another diode. This is the third dead diode in that module now. I have to dig it up again. And uh, d- how were you able to find that out? So we started taking a bunch of restarts. Uh, so I halted the computer and used the monitor to load into memory a uh, a, a scenario that I had saved, uh-huh. and then compared it with. Uh, I, I dumped it all back out after loading it, and then compared the two. And I noticed that every time the address has a 3 in the second position there, so address uh-huh. 30, 31, 32, 33, mm-hmm. so that group of 8 words, uh-huh. there's data in the scenario, I got all zeros. If I go further down, again, address 130, uh-huh. all zeros, data, 230. So if we look at the memory timing and addressing module, the, uh, the three bits of S that contribute to uh, the addresses with the bad problems are bits four, five, and six. Those are combined in this block to mm-hmm. pick an X top select switch. So our bad uh, bad digit is a three. So the problem is with the, the XT3 switch, the X top select three switch. So if we go over to the erasable drivers, um, XT3 drives uh, the net 40277A through one of these interface current switches. And if we look at 40277A, uh, it is right there in the current switch module. So we should have a diode between pins 165 and 168, but I'm measuring an open circuit. Oh, you you were able to measure it in situ? Yes. In the uh, yeah, I can I can. Oh, see it's the already so it's a confirm. Yeah. And that's a problem. Yep. Okay. Well, so we had it all repaired for for a while. <laughs> <laughs> and the the AGC is going out tomorrow, so I say we we are uh, running back on on your emulated memory, mm-hmm. or simulated memory. Yeah, and then maybe. Uh, and then we 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 hook up. Ben's thing and then maybe we hold on to that module to dig it out further. This is the potted module that had already gone through three surgeries to repair two bad diodes and a shorted core. Develop. We, are, we have enough with our you know, switch current module from hell mm-hmm. keeping blowing its diodes which actually you know that, is, that those diodes were eventually deemed, this series of di- diodes was eventually deemed not uh, f- not flyable. Yeah, so not only did they ban use of that com- uh, diode in the AGC, they mm-hmm. replaced it everywhere. Uh-huh. They also removed the vendor of that diode from the approved vendors list. Uh-oh. <laughs> <laughs> So they were they were very much not happy with that diode. <laughs> yeah, well we know we know why. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because it blew under completely normal usage. Yeah, it was the AGC was sitting here running a self test in Aurora, and that is the rope right now that we have that can run all the self tests for the computer. Right. So uh, yeah, it was just sitting here doing its thing, and then I looked over and it was restarting. We tracked it down to a single diode and our friend the current switch module. Yes, which we'll have to dig further. Oh, do I look forward to this? So now it's just you know, repairing that fault, probably changing all the diodes. Unfortunately, that's many drill. You know, that's that's yep. unearthing many components. How many diodes in that thing? There's 28 in the current switch. <laughs> Ouch! <laughs> <laughs> and I'm not. And I don't know if I'm firing on both sides. Yeah, I yep. don't know if I'm up to <laughs> trying the 
23 pairs, my goodness. Yeah, I, I would say it's probably best to just repair them as they go. Yeah. Instead of doing all the uh, time. Now we can make also smaller windows. I can probably make a little hole right on top of it. No oh, yeah, it. If, right. if you don't want to... Right. If you don't want to just de-encapsulate the whole right. thing. Well, also, yeah. no, having that large window, you can make the repair very clean. You have right. access for snippers and good angles. That's why I wanted to make them larger. Yep. But, man, it took so long. <laughs> You tell me, but I think it's dying. He'll see it. I saw it wiggle. No, no, it's. Uh, yeah, yeah, uh, uh. It might have repaired itself. <laughs> 5, 10, 20, 30, 40. Yeah, that's probably okay. For a short while. Okay, it's vibrating. Uh, uh, can you put it on a good diode? I just need to get one pin over. Yeah, look at that. Okay, so yeah, it's down. Oh wow! So that's a good diode. And that's a bad diode. And you can tell it's not happy. You're gonna bad one. Good one. So, so if if you if you jostle the module, do, do you see change in the? Whoa! Uh -oh. It just went completely bad. So we, we caught one in the process of dying. Yeah, it just died. <laughs> Gee wee. Uh, diode death recorded on camera. Yeah. But this is horrible. This was the murder of a diode, or the death of a diode. I didn't murder it. It died on its own. <laughs> it was already a zombie, so it, it might yeah. come back again. <laughs> that, that, that's true, because you measured it once open, mm -hmm. and then... Uh. Invasion of the zombie diodes. <laughs> So this time I made a round opening and the diode is right in the middle of it. Okay. There's a new diode in there and Mike's going to test it right. Try to remember how you did it last time. Yeah, just rereading the uh, configuration acceptance tests. No, no. There, that's a core. Okay. Repaired? Repaired. Okay, repair number three, successful. Okay, well, there is this is the, what should we name it, the Swiss cheese module. <laughs> it's, it has a lot of holes, eight pocket. It's poor module. <laughs> it's nothing left of it. Okay, mm -hmm. and that's what we want to see. Okay, so we'll bring, you'll bring that to, yeah. uh, to Houston and then to the East Coast and hopefully that will repair the computer. You're explaining that it lets you do your, but not anything else, right? right. It, yeah. it's, it's, the EGC is firmly out of control of everything else. <laughs> All you can do is rotate around the axis, that doesn't matter.